So today's topic for the video is how to use essential oil. Okay, so how do we use essential oils? Um, there's three different ways to use essential oils, but I'm just going to show it to you right now, really simple. So what I'm going to use for example is peppermint essential oil. So what I'm going to do is actually just put a drop on my fingertips right here. I'm just going to go like this. And I'm just going to take a deep breath and inhale it directly right. But make sure you close your eyes because it, it might burn your eyes, especially if you're doing um, uh, peppermint essential oil. So just close your eyes and take a deep breath and just inhale it and just enjoy. You can do that three times. Oh, it's so beautiful. It smells so good and just wakes you right up and it cleans up your sinuses. It's really good. Um, the next thing you can do is apply on your temples and on your forehead. I usually do that when I have a little headache or a little bit of tension and put it right behind my ears and on the back of my neck. And then what I also do um, when I have a little discomfort in my head, a little headache, I would actually apply it on top of the roof of my mouth. So I would just massage it like this. And so I just showed you guys three different ways how to use essential oils. So the first one was aromatically, so you just inhale it. Uh, the second one was topically, you apply it directly on the area of your concern. And the third way was um, internally, right? So uh, three different ways to use essential oils. Another way you also can use essential oils is in your environment, right? So now I'm going to um, go over step by step. So the first one was aromatically. So aromatically, um, like I said, you can do it uh, direct inhaling. So you can just take a deep breath of it or just do it right from the bottle too. Like you can go just like that is fine too. Um, but another best way uh, to use um, aromatically is get one of those diffusers, um, which I use every single day. And the beautiful thing about diffusers is, is that um, through uh, diffusing the oils, it purifies your air, it cleans the air and, and everything that's around it, and everybody in your household benefits from it. Okay, so it's a really powerful and amazing way to um, to use the oils. And like I said, especially when you want your kids and, and everybody around in the house to benefit from it. Okay, so that was, I think that's the only way um, aromatically you can do it. Okay, the second way we said it was topically. So topically you basically apply the oil directly on the area of your concern. Um, you can also topically, um, you can put it like in a little uh, lotions, right? You can put it in the lotions. This one's actually my deodorant that I made, natural deodorant with essential oils. And I'll make more videos and post uh, recipes, so you know, stay tuned. Um, Another way topically you can apply it is if you take a bath, right? For example, Epsom salt bath or um, you can add some oils into it too, which is really, really relaxing and your skin absorb, absorbs it, right? Um, I'm just going to make sure I don't miss anything over here. Um, and the best way also to use it topically is on the bottom of your feet. And that is because this is the fastest way for the oils to get into your bloodstreams. It only takes um, two minutes to get into your bloodstream, okay? And then eventually it takes 20 minutes to affect every single cell in your body, okay? So I think that's the only... Another way you can use these uh, topically, which I just um, did, was massaging it, right? through a massage. I just did actually aromatage uh, technique massage course 
and that's what I've been doing lots is giving uh, my family massages so it's another great way to use these oils and I think that's everything for topically now let's talk about internally so oh, I just want to mention um, when you apply oils topically um, if you have sensitive skin the best way to for you to do it is to dilute uh, these essential oils with fractionated coconut oil or just coconut oil if your skin is sensitive. Um, so then another way to use your oils is internally. So, you know, applying on the roof of your mouth is one way to do it internally. You can also use a drop underneath your tongue. Or another way, which I'm just going to show you, it's really simple, I do it every single day, is in a glass of water. Um, you would usually use one drop of of essential oil. So my favorite ones are actually, I, I was using lemon every single day in the morning. That would be my first one that I would use. Um, then another glass, when I drink it, I would put wild orange um, because it's it, it gives you energy and it's really, um, it just empowers you. It's just a great way if you need some more energy and motivation this oil is excellent and also grapefruit I always put in my water but I just actually received lime essential oil and now this is my favorite favorite for drinking water so I'll just show you how to how simple it is so what I'll just, just do is drop one drop in my water make sure you mix it because it is an oil so you just don't want to just drink the oil by itself right there it is and also when you take these oils internally um, and like drink it in a glass make sure it's a glass um, cup or glass because it can be plastic because the oils actually will eat the plastic so make sure it's a glass or stainless steel okay so uh, don't put essential oils in a plastic water bottles uh, because it might be actually more toxic for you than than do good, right? And also when I talk taking these oils internally, I only and strictly talk about the Terra essential oils, uh, just because they are safe. I wouldn't recommend you guys uh, going to the store from the market and using these essential oils um, internally because most of them you actually can't because they're just not safe. And with these doTERRA essential oils, they actually show you um, their directions, how you can use them. Um, most of our oils are allowed to take internally, uh, pretty much all of them, except some of the blends, because blends have different benefits, right? So, but, um, yeah, so it will tell you how to use them, like how many drops in the water, how you can take them internally and topically, and... So all the directions are over here. Also, all the ingredients are on these bottles too, which is wonderful. So all that information is on these little bottles. Um, what other ways? Internally, okay. We can also you can also use these um, internally in a capsule, and also Dutera provides all different kinds of um, capsule gels like. Uh, lifelong vitality pack is one of the best supplements in the market right now in the world and it's number one seller in doTERRA but I'll have another video about these but you know they just come in a little capsule gels just like this veggie capsule gels okay so it's all um, natural and organic and um, all good for you so you know, that's another way you can take your oils internally. Um, what else is there? How other ways? I just don't want to miss anything. So, um, I think that is it for taking the oils internally. Um, and then in your environment, you also use essential oils. Like for, um, we also sell uh, laundry detergent, right? Um, I made my own all-purpose cleaner which has essential oils right um, so again you know for spraying you're spraying you clean your air so everything you know it's in your environment too right um, you can make a sink cleaner a mirror window cleaner 
uh, sh you can make your own little spray for to el eliminate shoe smell, uh, eliminate mold, um, all different kind of stuff. So I'll be sharing different videos about that and the recipes for that. That will be the end of it. Um, I think that's all I covered, everything pretty much. Um, I'll be making another video which will be about um, why you should choose, if you choose essential oils, why you should choose doTERRA essential oils. And I'll talk a little bit about the company. And I think that's about it. So if you have any questions, please comment below this video. I also put a link to my website and my uh, Facebook page where I have lots of information and recipes and it's just wonderful tips you get so it's just wonderful wonderful uh, page to check out if you're interested in it and that's all I have to say okay so I'll see you guys next time and keep in touch